Brian Brings Booze is the part of the show where Brian brings us booze. Brian, our personal booze hero, yeah. is uh, here with something unusual today. Yeah. Mm. Uh, today I brought a couple of wines. Yeah, booze right. made from okay. grapes, you say. Yes, That's this possible? is booze made from grapes. It oh, is okay. possible. In okay. fact, it's um, one of the oldest, most Get up in that mic, revered Brian. traditions Get out of town. in alcohol making. Hang no, on. I'm telling so you. So you're saying that people have been making alcohol from grapes for some time now. Quite some Continue. time. Continue. All right. What, what kind of alcohol? What do we have here? Well, here we've got uh, two different wines. we got a white and a red. Uh, okay. These are ah, from the lovely thirsty. people over at Dark Horse. Uh-huh. Um, we've got a Chardonnay is our white. And do our we red. know that they're lovely people? They could be horrible it's, people. They're probably they could lovely. Be. But I mean, since they, they sent, sent us free, 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 free stuff, stuff, so they're probably lovely. I imagine lovely, probably I mean, lovely. I'm going to say. Right? Lovely. Let's, yeah. let's say lovely. Uh, the I'm red is a Cabernet Sauvignon. Okay. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try these out here. Okay. Um, we'll go with the white first. All right. right? How okay. does that sound, guys? I guess I trust you. A little Chardonnay, a little Chardonnay. White before red. Never been dead. Uh, doesn't go to your Never, head. But yes. Oh, okay. Red before white. You'll be up all night. Yeah. Oh, that's how it goes. That's what I heard. I don't even know what that means. I just made that up. That's not a thing, right? No, it's not a thing. Yeah. All right, guys. So this is our Dark Horse Chardonnay. Now, the Chardonnay is like the Greyhound bus of wines, right? Chardonnay is pretty <laughs> accessible. It's very, very, <laughs> very, very entry level. Like, But Chardonnays can go a couple of ways, right? They can be super buttery, which I personally don't like. I yeah. like a little lighter. What does that mean, buttery? Like you, when you when taste that wine, right. and you'll see if this is a buttery Chardonnay. Pretty dry, actually. Uh, it is relatively dry, which is... Not bad. Um, Not right. Too sweet. Now you do taste the buttery bit, and it's on the yeah. back end. Do you yeah. taste that at the end there? No. I do, but no. it's not it's not super buttery, but it is it's nice though. It's a nice buttery yeah, taste, yeah. which is good. And you can taste a little bit of oak as well, which I love in a Chardonnay. They don't all have that. A lot of them can be aged in Brian steel knows barrels. Some things, oh, Brian know? knows a lot about booze. Right. You know wow. what I'm saying? <laughs> but this is a, this is well, a, it brings it to us. <laughs> hang on. Should we not get hot dog the wrapper some of this alcohol? I think oh, hot dog have, yeah, absolutely. Hot dog definitely absolutely needs to. We have to enough have cups here. Yeah, we hot got dog cups. should we got chime cups in. for everybody here. All right. Now we're also drinking some Chardonnay. We've got a Bottle of red. We got a bottle of red. Bottle of white. Uh, Cabernet Sauvignon. This is, it's relatively young. It's a 2011. Uh, Dark Horse, by the way, this is all in California. Hey, Dottie, is George in that shot at all? Important. Yeah, it's pretty tight. Like, you'll probably have to get down to our level. It's tight, yo. For the radio listener, fascinating stuff. Oh, yeah, big time. Frame up that shot. (laughs) Okay, we on to the red. Should I finish the white first, or should I just mix it with the red? You do whatever you want. Do not mix. Yeah, definitely pour it into the red. (laughs) That's what my grandpa would do on Thanksgiving. (laughs) He'd just hit out a glass of scotch. He'd be like, ah, just put it in the glass. There you go, hot dog. All right. All right. So now we're on to now we're on to the red. It's a Cabernet, Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, Sauvignon. Right. So, so hang on. What do I drink cabs with? So hang on. Too. This oh is the God, holidays right. coming up, Brian. <laughs> holidays are coming up. So there. let's talk about food pairings. Um, I love, love, love red wine in winter. I personally wouldn't drink a Chardonnay in winter. But um, okay. you come from a land uh, of cold and snowballs. This is true. This is true. You know, <laughs> I'm, I am the rest of relatively new to <laughs> Yeah, the I'm LA just saying area. this is <laughs> LA foodie right. and, you this know, is true. This is a true. blustery winter day Even so, is even so, degrees. that being said, I still, for some reason, there's a part of me that in winter says I must drink red wine. Yeah, you want the oh, heaviness, you want a little warmth. the fire, fire past the pipe, past the bowl. I understand. All right. Wow, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I, I love so what do we got Cabernet here? Sauvignon. Um, okay, Cab. Cab. This okay. is what they mean when they say cab. This is what they mean when they say cab sav. Yeah. They say cab sav. Yeah. They say cab sav. I haven't heard that People one. People say that. People say cab sav. Interesting. I yeah. call it C.S. Lewis. Same well. It's like a secret code that Same I have with okay, some of my good. wine yeah. friends that I meet hmm. with after the podcast is over. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad that You have I, wine friends? <sighs> I feel terrible. We haven't this talked about this at all. On the wow, show right has now. wine friends. Just drink your C.S. Lewis. <sighs> no. Well, I guess now I know what it's called. <laughs> so, um... What do you guys? What do you guys? Uh, what do you think? What do you well, taste? Well, the in second here? one tastes more red than the first one. <laughs> it does. It does taste more red. I, I would hope. Yep. Yeah, I think it's because it is red. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely red. Um, this is a lighter Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, it's, well, it's, hang on. What, so, what is ca- what is what, what is Cab Sav pair with? A Cabernet Sauvignon. Because you like you you said you like the red wines in winter. Love red wines in and winter. And winter is definitely your Upon us. pot pie season soups. Pot, Ooh, yeah. pot what, pie right okay. here, baby. I love this with a pot pie. Um, I love this with steak and taters. Awesome. So, what you steak do with your taters. Thanksgiving leftovers if they're still in the fridge? Yeah. Uh, no, no. Is take your turkey, take your gravy, 
Take your leftover vegetables. If you get some carrots, if you get some potatoes, toss them in a pre-baked pie crust or throw some Bisquick on the top of it. You got yourself a leftover turkey pot pie. Pour yourself a glass of... A Cabernet Sauvignon. This particular one I think could work. It's a little lighter. Uh, Normally a heavier Cabernet Sauvignon, which a lot of Cabernet Sauvignons are. I wouldn't necessarily do with turkey. It would go like a Pinot or or a Shiraz or something. I'm with you. It is a little light. This one, it's not, there aren't a lot of tanniny tastes going on in this one. It's it's very fruity. It's a a bright taste. What's what's tanniny? Tanniny is kind of, uh, it's a heavier taste. They're kind of the residuals that you get. When you're um, at the bottom of the at the bottom of the uh, wine bottle, you know how you have sometimes that like the drugs, the, the stuff, and stuff that gives you yeah. the hangover at the end yeah, of the day. Yeah, it's All kind right. of what gives wine its color. Oh uh, yes, it's yes, itchy. color and hangovers. Yes, yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. All right, okay. with the turkey pot pie or with a piece of big piece of meat and some this is starch. Nice, yeah. yeah, I mean this, this one isn't bad. Potatoes. Yeah, I mean this one's very a, this one's very drinkable. A lot of Cabernet Sauvignons are like I said they're heavier so they're not as yeah. easily drinkable as as this one is. But this um, ain't that heavy. I got I got a tasty bit. one. Yeah. Uh but yeah, these are sold at Trader Joe's. They're $8 a bottle so they're very reasonably oh, yeah. priced and they're pretty tasty. Would Definitely Would you say worth that $8. this is uh worth the upgrade from Two Buck Chuck? I would say this is worth the upgrade from Two Buck Chuck. Ooh. I mean Two Buck Chuck is solid though. For a you know $2 I mean? wine, For a $2 that's what wine. Well, let's be fair. Everybody, though, if you come to the party with two buck chalk, everybody's like, oh, look at this cheap ass. I, we come to the party with this. Everybody shows knows. up to the party with two bucks. Well, that's sure, true. of course. Yeah, but you show that up with this. That is true. Know. Could be $70. You have no idea. You know what's going to happen, though? What's that? You and I are going to go to a party. <laughs> and you're going to have you're gonna have two bottles of Dark Horse. Yeah. And I'm going to have... What does that translate to? Eight bottles of two buck chuck. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be like, hey, we spent the same amount. Isn't that great? <laughs> and then yeah. all the girls will be all up in my jock because they'll uh, be coming up my two buck chuck. God damn Whereas it. with your two pathetic bottles of dark horse, <laughs> overpriced. <laughs> but I'll be like, taste how dry it is. <laughs> taste how light this is. This could pair well with your uh, turkey pot pie that you're going to make with Bisquick. I'm going to steal all your lines. We kid because we love. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, thanks to the dudes at Dark Horse. Yes, for no, this is very tasty, actually. It I is. enjoyed this, yeah. It is. Mm. Well, I'm glad you guys enjoyed the wine. Yeah. Oh, do I have to finish mm, this? you got to finish it. That's, that's, that's how the segment ends. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Wait a minute. Yeah? Do you hear that? I mean, I don't hear anything. Do you hear anything? Uh, no. I just oh, no. heard myself swallow. Guys, I would, I would love to hang out and talk with you, but um, somebody in Rancho Cucamonga... Needs a chocolate buck. Well, I goodbye. Mean, I, you, Godspeed, I mean, I, I mean, Brian. Yeah, I mean, and thanks for, again for bringing the booze. I guess that means it's time for our next segment. And our next segment is <laughs> a bunch. Oh, we're going to talk about barbecue. Awesome. We're going to talk about barbecue. <laughs> 